it, it's so deflating. It's so deflating. I don't think I did a bracket last year. I think I was. I just, didn't. It's so hard. It was it's so, so hard. We're Syracuse fans. We live in. We live literally from where we're recording this. It is a ten minute drive to the dome. Like yeah. clear day, you can see the dome. Clear as day, you can day. see the dome from TJ's porch. I. I. It is so deflating. This is the first year without Bayheim. And not that I was the biggest Bayheim supporter, but just like we're not used to sucking this bad, and they're yeah. not even like bad. It's just that they in it's between. just rebuilding. Yeah, yeah. everyone's we, rebuilding. Yeah, it, which yeah. sucks because then they had, I mean, Leggett Jack took over the women's team maybe two years ago. Two years ago, Gary Gate took over the men's lacrosse team. Yep, and then you know this is Red's first year teaching coaching basketball. And we just got Fran Brown first for football, who was just named number one recruiter. I saw that. That's so sick. So it's a big, uh, it's a huge changeover right now yeah. for Syracuse athletics. It is, but Syrac- as part of like it, it's what's needed because of the NIL. Yeah, but Syracuse soccer, changing, man, yeah. reigning national champions. You know. Yeah, they didn't win this past year. They won it last year, didn't they? I think they they are were out in this past fall season. I'm thinking a year and a half ago. God, COVID is crazy. They made I think they were like the elite, elite eight or something again like they were right there really i thought they wanted i thought they wanted just this past year and it was a year before we'll, look at it. we'll fact check it and drop it in the video it'll be here who won the national championship right here who won 2023 it? 2024 and when it says syracuse watch i'm gonna flick this at tj it bounces off his head i think it was the year before it. whatever i don't doubt it i don't care Bengals. Bengals won the super bowl i don't give a shit um yeah it just it sucks because it makes doing a bracket so less, so much like less enjoyable. It's not fun. Yeah. Because I know, I know basketball, college basketball is like a big, it's mainly like a Northeast, it's like a Northeast and like East Coast thing. Yeah. And like a semi Northwest Coast thing. Yeah. yeah. But kind of the same with lacrosse. But it, it's just like college basketball is, it's, it's a different vibe around here. How you Southerners think of college football, that's how college basketball is for us. But maybe we'll be there next year with college football. Who knows? Yeah. There's a chance Syracuse is in the ACC championship game next year. They don't have to play Clemson, Florida State. Um, uh, the other rank, North Carolina. They don't have to play any of those any yeah. of those three next year. It's gonna be a couple years, but I think they'll they'll I don't get know, there man. with Fran. But you got yeah, we got the guy from uh, Ohio State McLeod yeah. there. Well, we got him for a year. We got them for a year, but they also have like a bunch of fucking transfers that came in, like four star yeah, recruit transfers that came in from like Alabama, Georgia. I'm like Jesus. So, Cuse might be, Cuse might be, <laughs> Cuse might be good next year. We, we need it. I did see though. Uh, what's his name? One of the the lacrosse captain just had. Uh, he's out for the year, having surgery. Torn ACL. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. <clears throat> the women's team though. Yeah. I mean, hopefully they make a run here in March. They've beaten a couple. Mm-hmm. I'm actually singing Top. the national anthem for one of the men's games. Oh time. yeah, yeah. Do a little behind the scenes. When was it the women Basic knocked off extra? Uh, Notre Dame the other day? Yes, yeah. Notre Dame's big. Notre Dame's huge. Yep. Women's basketball. Yeah, Cuse is ranked. Women's Cuse rank is ranked. Men's not so much. No. Shut up, Benny Williams. We're doing. Um, well, the commercial will be airing at this point, but later this week we're actually filming a uh, local furniture store commercial with. JJ Starling and Malik Brown. Ugh, dude, I love JJ. Having them do VO on camera, on set, <laughs> on couches and beds is gonna be interesting. Nothing. We'll see how that I goes. don't mean this. I don't mean this as a negative, but when you get like college or pro athletes that have no personality, yeah. they're like, "Come on down to land. Come on down to Ray and and Flanagan. We've <laughs> yeah. got a couch that's seven hundred ninety nine dollars." I'm like I'll fucking kill myself right now. Like, what it's are we gonna. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, it'll be airing by the time this episode's out. Yeah, but uh, still, I mean, good lord. Sha- there was like a whole thing about Shaq and his. Uh, what is it? Go to the general and say sometime. Yeah, yeah. His yeah, commercials. He's gotten ex- so much better. But yeah, you know. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.